Enya Grafton was born in Germany and moved to Australia when she was five years old. She lived in several states in Australia, including NYS, VEC, and now SA. She completed her BA in Humanities in 1989, followed by her secondary teaching degree in 1990, her BA in Creative Writing in 1996, and her Master's in Creative Writing in 1997. She also played in the Navy Reserve Band in SA for eight years and enjoyed every moment. She also enjoys walking, reading, writing, drawing, and playing the flute. She loves living in the west of Adelaide and walking along the beaches. Her published book, edited in collaboration with Eurobox, is entitled Adelaide Rainbow Bridge. And Enya is now connected with us to talk about this book. So let's welcome her. Hi, Enya. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So what is Adelaide Rainbow Bridge about? How can we introduce it to the readers? It's a murder mystery with a little twist. And it's set in Adelaide in present day. And the whole idea was that if you would come to Australia, you could take the book and you could travel around Adelaide for yourself. You could see the sites where everything happens. The only thing that you would not find is the actual house that um, the murders take place in. Wonderful. And what was the inspiration to write this book? I mean, of course the place, but when did the idea come up for the first time and why? Okay. Um, I love murder mysteries. I always have. I'm an avid reader of murder mysteries and family and friends suggested one day, why don't you write your own? And I thought, yeah, it's not a bad idea. What do I do? And then somebody said, place it in Adelaide, write what you know. And I thought, brilliant. So I took family members, friends, the places I visit, um, the beat, like, example the beach where I took my dog always for a walk I thought perfect these things I know about these things I can write about and these things may be of interest to other people wonderful so you just said that you're a passionate reader for murder mysteries what are yes. your your literary models we as we said you're a passionate reader who are your famous writers I like uh, Patricia Cornwell. I've read all of hers. Um, a few Australian un or not so well-known people. Um, and Daniel Stevenson, I like his murder mysteries too. Um, basically, anything I can get my hands on, anything that looks of interest, I will write. But Patricia Cornwell is one of my favourites. Wonderful. And how challenging was it to write this book? I mean, in general, how challenging is it to write murder mysteries? Um, once I have the idea, it just seems to flow. I'm one of those people that I don't really need to structure it that well. I write my story from beginning to end. Um, and once I'm finished, I leave it for, say, two, three weeks. And then I go back and I look at the structure I've created where I need to put new things in, where I need to maybe fix something that doesn't quite, you know, um, run smoothly. But like I said, once I have the idea, it just seems to flow out. Okay, wonderful. And are you currently working on a new literary project you think you, you will publish in the nearest future? Um, yes, I am. I'm working on another murder mystery using the same characters I used before, um, still in Adelaide, still the same idea that you could pick the book up and you could travel around. But the only difference this time is I'm using current events. Wonderful. So we will be waiting for your new book to, to be released. Thank you very much, Thank Enya, you. again, for joining us today. And we wish you best luck with Adelaide Rainbow Bridge. Thank you very much. And thank you for having me. Have a good day. 
When Kaylee and her brother Stephen decide to buy and renovate an old house near the beach in West Adelaide, murder was the last thing on either of their minds. The body found under their newly built patio changes everything. It turns out to be Stephen's ex fiance. To make matters worse, when interviewed by police, a connection is found between Stephen and another murdered victim, his former teacher. With Stephen arrested, Kaylee struggles to complete the renovations and clear her brother of murder. A delighted rainbow bridge written by Anya Grafton is now available in bookstores and digital platforms. It's a publication by Eurobooks.